Deuteronomy chapter 19 Laws concerning the cities of refuge When the Lord your God cuts off the nations whose land the Lord your God gives you and you disperses them and dwell in their cities and in their houses you shall set apart three cities for you in the land which the Lord your God gives you to possess you shall prepare the roads and divide into three parts the area of the land which the Lord your God gives you as a possession so that any man slayer can flee to them this is the provision for the man slayer who by fleeing there may save his life if any one kills his neighbor unintentionally without having been at enmity with him in time past as when a man goes into the forest with his neighbor to cut wood and his hand swings the axe to cut down a tree and the head slips from the handle and strikes his neighbor so that he dies he may flee to one of these cities and save his life lest the avenger of blood in hot anger pursue the man slayer and overtake him because the way is long and wound him mortally though the man did not deserve to die since he was not at enmity with his neighbor in time past therefore i command you you shall set apart three cities and If the Lord your God enlarges your border as he has sworn to your fathers and gives you all the land which he promised to give to your fathers provided you are careful to keep all this commandment which I command you this day by loving the Lord your God and by walking ever in his ways then you shall add three other cities to these three lest innocent blood be shed in your land which the lord your god gives you for an inheritance and so the guilt of blood shed be upon you but if any man hates his neighbor and lies in wait for him and attacks him and wounds him mortally so that he dies and the man flees into one of these cities then the elders of his city shall send and fetch him from there and hand him over to the avenger of blood so that he may die your eye shall not pity him but you shall purge the guilt of innocent blood from israel so that it may be well with you property boundaries in the inheritance which you will hold in the land that the lord your god gives you to possess you shall not remove your neighbor's landmark which the men of old have set law concerning witnesses a single witness shall not prevail against a man for any crime or for any wrong in connection with any offense that he has committed only on the evidence of two witnesses or of three witnesses shall a charge be sustained if a malicious witness rises against any man to accuse him of wrong doing then both parties to the dispute shall appear before the lord before the priests and the judges who are in office in those days the judges shall inquire diligently and if the witness is a false witness and has accused his brother falsely then you shall do to him as he had meant to do to his brother so you shall purge the evil from the midst of you and the rest shall hear and fear and shall never again commit any such evil among you your eye shall not pity it shall be life for life eye for eye tooth for tooth 
hand for hand foot for foot when you go forth to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army larger than your own you shall not be afraid of them for the lord your god is with you who brought you up out of the land of egypt and when you draw near to the battle the priest shall come forward and speak to the people and shall say to them here o israel you draw near this day to battle against your enemies let not your heart faint do not fear or tremble or be in dread of them for the lord your god is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory then the officers shall speak to the people saying what man is there that has built a new house and has not dedicated it let him go back to his house lest he die in the battle and another man dedicate it and what man is there that has planted a vineyard and has not enjoyed its fruit let him go back to his house lest he die in the battle and another man enjoy its fruit and what man is there that has betrothed a wife and has not taken her let him go back to his house lest he die in the battle and another man take her and the officers shall speak further to the people and say what man is there that is fearful and faint hearted let him go back to his house lest the heart of his fellows melt as his heart and when the officers have made an end of speaking to the people then commander shall be appointed at the head of the people when you draw near to a city to fight against it offer terms of peace to it and if its answer to you is peace and it opens to you then all the people who are found in it shall do forced labor for you and shall serve you but if it makes no peace with you but makes war against you then you shall besiege it and when the lord your god gives it into your hand you shall put all its males to the sword but the women and the little ones the cattle and everything else in the city all its spoil you shall take as booty for yourselves and you shall enjoy the spoil of your enemies which the lord your god has given you thus you shall do to all the cities which are very far from you which are not cities of the nations here but in the cities of these peoples that the lord your god gives you for an inheritance you shall save alive nothing that breathes but you shall utterly destroy them the hittites and the amorites the canaanites and the perizzites the hivites and the jebusites as the lord your god has commanded that they may not teach you to do according to their abominable practices which they have done in the service of their gods and so to sin against the lord your god when you besiege a city for a long time making war against it in order to take it you shall not destroy its trees by wielding an axe against them for you may eat of them but you shall not cut them down are the trees in the field men that they should be besieged by you only the trees which you know are not trees for food you may destroy and cut down that you may build siege works against the city that makes war with you until it fails laws concerning murder by persons unknown if in the land 
which the Lord your God gives you to possess any one is found slain lying in the open country and it is not known who killed him then your elders and your judges shall come forth and they shall measure the distance to the cities which are around him that is slain and the elders of the city which is nearest to the slain man shall take a heifer which has never been worked and which has not pulled in the yoke and the elders of that city shall bring the heifer down to a valley with running water which is neither ploughed nor sown and shall break the heifer's neck there in the valley and the priests the sons of levi shall come forward for the lord your god has chosen them to minister to him and to bless in the name of the lord and by their word every dispute and every assault shall be settled and all the elders of that city nearest to the slain man shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley and they shall testify our hands did not shed this blood neither did our eyes see it shed forgive o lord thy people israel whom thou hast redeemed and set not the guilt of innocent blood in the midst of thy people israel but let the guilt of blood be forgiven them so you shall purge the guilt of innocent blood from your midst when you do what is right in the sight of the lord female captives when you go forth to war against your enemies and the lord your god gives them into your hands and you take them captive and see among the captives a beautiful woman and you have desire for her and would take her for yourself as wife then you shall bring her home to your house and she shall shave her head and pair her nails and she shall put off her captive's garb and shall remain in your house and bewail her father and her mother a full month after that you may go in to her and be her husband and she shall be your wife then if you have no delight in her you shall let her go where she will but you shall not sell her for money you shall not treat her as a slave since you have humiliated her the right of the first born if a man has two wives the one loved and the other disliked and they have borne him children both the loved and the disliked and if the first born son is hers that is disliked then on the day when he assigns his possessions as an inheritance to his sons he may not treat the son of the loved as the first born in preference to the son of the disliked who is the first born but he shall acknowledge the first born the son of the disliked by giving him a double portion of all that he has for he is the first issue of his strength the right of the first born is his a rebellious son if a man has a stubborn and rebellious son who will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother and though they test as him will not give heed to them then his father and his mother shall take hold of him and bring him out to the elders of his city at the gate of the place where he lives and they shall say to the elders of his city this our son is stubborn and rebellious 
he will not obey our voice he is a glutton and a drunkard then all the men of the city shall stone him to death with stones so you shall purge the evil from your midst and all israel shall hear and fear miscellaneous laws and if a man has committed a crime punishable by death and he is put to death and you hang him on a tree his body shall not remain all night upon the tree but you shall bury him the same day for a hanged man is accursed by god you shall not defile your land which the lord your god gives you for an inheritance